Hey guys, this is Philip from Seaston Motor Co. Today I am talking about a new product we just came out with, the SMCO Billet Pedal Covers. We're really excited about these. Uh, we've been working really hard on them and I'm excited to share them with you today. So here they are, these are our pedals. We've got the accelerator, the brake, and the clutch. Uh, we have these all uh, CNC'd out of 6061 aluminum, and we do that for a couple reasons. One, because it starts with a piece of billet aluminum, it's a lot stronger than a casting. Uh, we're also able to get a really nice finish, both uh, on the sides and the back, and, and then also on the front. Because they are CNC, we get a really, really sharp edge to the, uh, to the grip that is on the, uh, the brake and the clutch pedals. Um, we do this because obviously when it's wet out, you don't want your foot slipping off. We do uh, keep the accelerator pedal smooth because that way when you're heel towing, the heel of your foot is able to slide on the pedal uh, and give you a really good functionality. Uh, after we have them CNC'd, uh, we have them tumbled and then to preserve the satin finish that the tumble uh, creates, uh, we have them clear anodized. One kind of neat thing about the tumbling process is that because of the uh, size of the um, granules that are in the uh, tumbler, uh, they don't actually go into the little cuts here on the inside, so you get a contrast finish. So the inside is kind of a more shiny, and then the outside is this nice satin finish, and that's again all locked in and preserved with the uh, clear anodized, so they'll stay looking like this for a long time. Uh, we're really happy with them. We think that they are um, a great addition to kind of any car, really gives you a nice uh, feel to the pedals. There's a little bit of a nod to the Patty Hopkirk uh, with a shape like this, and we put a lot of effort into making sure that we keep them as small as possible uh, so they're not intrusive, um, and even if you have big feet, you can use these and enjoy them. So all we need now is a volunteer, someone with a car that we could install these on. Hmm. Cool, me? That one? Nice <laughs> Literal peanut gallery over there. <laughs> I like how they brought their own chairs. With the directors. Hold on, I got you. Uh, installation. <laughs> Check three. <laughs> you already interrupted my video. Don't you remember? Is that the video that got the most views? <laughs> 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 All right, so we're at the car now. We're going to be installing the pedals. Uh, for the installation, you're going to need a screwdriver, uh, some Loctite, and uh, possibly uh, a file or some um, cleaning device, depending on if there's any glue or crud on the pedals. If your car is stock, it'll look something like this. Probably have the rubber uh, pedal covers on top. So first thing you need to do is take these off. They just peel off um, like this. Um, on this car, we're lucky and they're, they're uh, clean underneath. They haven't been, uh, been glued. Sometimes people will put some glue on here. If there is glue, it's a good idea to kind of uh, clean it off. So we'll make sure to take all these off here. Uh, one thing that we've noticed is that on, uh, on later cars, this car here is an SPI, but on the MPI cars and then some of the late SPI cars, Although it's the same shape, it's actually a little bit bigger. Um, and you'll be able to tell when you go and you mock up the, the pedal here, uh, you'll be able to see if it slips on. In this case, it slips on uh, well and fits the, uh, fits the cutout that we've got here. But if you've got one of the later cars that is a, uh, an MPI car or one of the later SPI, you may need to come in here with a file or um, a flapper disc on a grinder and just take off the edge. Um, they're a little bit bigger if you take it off here. Um, just do it just enough where that will fit on uh, like so. So if you do have the later pedals, uh, you can take off the edge. Uh, if not, if you verify that they do in fact fit nicely, then all you need is a screwdriver uh, for installation. I like to use a, a little bit of blue Loctite on these screws. Uh, it just prevents uh, the screws from coming loose. So put a little bit of blue Loctite on the screws and then install the upper uh, piece first. 
just loosely, just so that the screws are, um, are just grabbing the threads. Uh, we do this uh, so that we can slot it on here, and then you can hold with both your hands on the back side. Just a little bit easier than kind of trying to manage to, to attach it all in one go. You'll see that the direction of the slot here on this piece, uh, and then it's reversed on the bottom. So again, like that. That's how it should look uh, profile of you once it's installed. So with it attached like that, put it on top, grab your screws, a little bit of Loctite, just a little bit, don't need much. Put it facing this direction from the back. And the screws go in on the brake and the clutch. They go in the, uh, the far corners here, 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 and here. For the, uh, the gas pellet, it's a little different, but I'll show you that in a bit. A little bit of Loctite. Throw that one in there. Make sure you're not cross-threading these. They are just threaded into aluminum. So make sure they're going on nice. So now that it's attached, see it's a little loose, we want the, uh, the pedals to be angled as much uh, upwards as possible, like this direction, uh, so that you don't have any issues with the bottom of them touching the carpets. Um, every Mini is different, and depending on the amount of sound deadening and carpet, uh, the pedal shape, sometimes we've seen even pedals that have been bent. Um, make sure after you install these um, that you're not having any interference with the clutch, the brake, or the gas. You don't want them to get stuck in the carpet. Um, and you don't want to make sure, uh, you don't want to have your, uh, your pedals be encumbered by, uh, by uh, the amount of sound deadening or something behind here. Um, so just once over after everything's installed to make sure it's all good. So once we've got all four of them here just loosely in place, we're going to tighten the top ones first. You want the top ones to be nice and snug. Just moving back and forth to make sure we don't get any weird pinching on it. And because of these have got Loctite on them, they don't need to be crazy tight, just nice and snug. There we go. And then we're gonna do the bottom ones. And there we go. And as you can see, rock solid, no movement whatsoever. There we go. Now we're gonna move on to the gas pedal. Gas pedal works the exact same way. Attach the top two bolts loosely like that so it can be slipped over top. And as you can see, really easy, just sits right on there. The, uh, the back of the gas pedal will look different to the brake and the clutch. This is what the brake and the clutch look like. And this is what the gas pedal looks like. The bolt spacing is different. You can't accidentally put them on, but, but just so you know that this is the one. And same thing. The, the chamfer from the side goes facing this way. So like that from the side. So the two screws go on the top extreme corners of the, uh, of the gas pedal. And then if you line up the bottom one here, you'll see where they align to. Fourth one from the bottom. Same thing, take the screws, a little bit of Loctite. Thread them in by hand always first. Make sure you're not cross-threading. We're gonna tighten the top ones first. And do the bottom ones. There you go. Make sure everything's snugged up. And then you wanna verify that it does not hit the floor. And I don't know if you can see that, but we have clearance just a little bit underneath my finger there. So we are not hitting the floor. Same thing with the, uh, the brake. And then we repeat with the clutch. And that's it. It's very simple to install. Uh, anyone can do this. Uh, make sure that they're on really nicely. Make sure that they're tight. And, uh, and go and enjoy them.
As we know from being Mini owners, uh, Minis are all unique. Each one is different. Uh, that also means that sometimes um, the tolerances are a little bit different, uh, and that is true also for the pedals. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, some of the later cars, uh, although still being kind of a, a diamond-shaped pedal, they're a little bit bigger uh, and may require a little bit of filing or hitting with the uh, flapper disc on a grinder to get them uh, just to the exact right size of our pedals. Uh, the same can happen uh, for the curvature of the metal that is on the pedal itself. So if it's not uh, the same curve as we have CNC'd uh, into the back of the pedals, uh, maybe it's a little bit flat, um, you won't get quite as tight of a fitment. So to alleviate that, with the kit we include a little bit of grip tape. Really simple, just a sticky back tape, peel off the back. Uh, if this is the case, if you install the pedals and you notice that one of them is a little bit loose um, and not kind of gripping quite as tight, remove the pedal, install a little bit of grip tape, just trim around the edges, put the pedal back on and you'll have a nice tight fit. Make sure to like and subscribe below if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of new products we've got coming out. We're really excited about these and we've got some others in the works, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. Today, I am talking about a new product that we're just launching. What, what's the, what's... That was a YouTube intro, action, action. Hello, everyone. This here is the new SMCO pedal covers for your Rover Mini, Classic Mini, Austin Mini, Leyland Mini, whatever Mini you got. We got the gas pedal, we got the brake pedal, we got the clutch pedal, and for you people that have an automatic, we have a gas pedal and a brake pedal. <laughs> there you go. Come in scene. Okay, so I know exactly what's going after the fucking cutscene.